What's up guys? Welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. In this episode, we have some good news, uh, unfortunately some bad news, and then just weird news. Stay tuned. So the good news is in this video, we are gonna get to show you the 07K Swap 944 on the dyno, making pulls under load, you get to hear it, which uh, it sounds fantastic. However, uh, the bad news is that as we were getting close to doing final power runs, we had a mechanical failure. So basically on the back of the 07K engine, there is a coolant fitting, right? So this has the standard radiator hose, a bypass hose, and then where the coolant sensor goes. We couldn't utilize this on the 944 because it ran into a seam on the firewall and we were trying to not require any chassis modifications for this kit. Alan developed this, which is an unfortunate looking flange. But anyway, this is 3D printed out of carbon filled nylon. Uh, we weren't 100% sure how durable it was going to be, so we were testing it on my car. It should not have had any issues. However, uh, my thermo switch uh, that controls my fan failed. So my fans didn't come on and we didn't have the big fans on in front of the car. And we just had this massive and super quick temperature spike. Uh, the coolant got up to like 220 degrees and overpressurized the system and it just split this right down through here. At that point, well, the engine lost all its coolant and we were done. That means that I am gonna have to rip the engine back out, replace this, tidy up some of the coolant hoses and we had a small oil leak where uh, I think that I screwed up on the sealant on putting the lower sump on. So. I'm just gonna rip the engine out real quick, reseal that, switch this out, tidy some things up and jam it back in there because next weekend we're gonna be at Putnam Park and we're actually gonna be track testing the car. As for the weird part of it, as Performance Electronics was tuning the car, um, we actually ran out of fuel. So he had the injector duty cycle at 95% and we were running out of fuel at like 160 wheel horsepower. And that was, we hadn't really started adding a ton of timing yet. We were still working on the variable valve timing as well. Um, but we were starting to, to run out of fuel and the pressure itself was not dropping. So it's not a fuel pump or fuel supply issue. We ended up having to bump the fuel pressure up to 60 PSI just to get enough fuel to where we weren't running lean towards the higher end of the RPM. I just, I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. I, I don't know how a factory injector couldn't handle an intake and exhaust and uh, from the people that I've seen modify those engines in the aftermarket, I haven't heard of anyone saying that you need to add injector size. I have uh, 1150 cc injectors that I'm going to be running when I put the turbo in the car, but I obviously didn't want to put those on just yet, especially since we're trying to create a base tune that we can distribute out to other people that are in a swapping their car. So I'm going to do a little digging and just make sure that I can't find any weird supply issues. Uh, the fuel line's 3 8 inch. It should be large enough. It is the same size that the factory engine used. The injectors are from a low mileage car. I have not sent those out to have them uh, flow tested or anything. So potentially we have a bad injector, but I don't know. The, the car's running really well. It's super snappy and it sounds great. Speaking of, I'm gonna throw the clip in right now.
so that's where we're at. I thought this video was gonna be the final dyno pulls and the end all be all power that we're gonna make for the NA. And I was gonna be able to relax this week and just get ready for the track next weekend. And all of that just went to shit. So uh, once again, I'm gonna be scrambling this week trying to get the car put back together. I don't wanna miss next weekend's track event. We need to get the car on track and really torture test it as soon as possible. So. I'm just going to have to, uh, you know, spend some late nights and, and get the car ready. But that's where we're at. I wanted to give you guys an update, and I especially wanted you guys to be able to hear the car. Let me know what you think about that. I think it sounds absolutely awesome. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.